All right, now hear me out. If there's only one thing you add to your Tesla, this is it. And today I'm gonna show you why the Sexy Knob is the one product you have to have in your Tesla. So look, Teslas come with a lot of tech and that's great. They do a lot of amazing things. But did you know that with a device like the Sexy Knob, you can actually unlock more features in your car and it can do things that it probably shouldn't be able to do. For example, let's say you don't wanna spend $8,000 on full self-driving, but it would be really nice to be on the highway, not have to activate autopilot every time you make lane change. This was a reality I faced early on in our days with our Teslas, but the sexy knob will allow you to actually switch lanes and automatically re-engage autopilot. It's actually pretty cool how it works, but basically while you're in autopilot, if you don't have full self-driving, you don't have anything extra, you're just an autopilot on the highway. When you turn the turn signal on, you switch lanes, it deactivates autopilot. You already know this, but Based on your settings, if you want one, two, three seconds later for it to automatically re-engage autopilot, it will do that. And that is pretty cool. It doesn't mean that the car is going to change lanes all on its own, but it does add the one thing that's missing with autopilot, and that is having to re-engage autopilot every time you switch lanes. And if you're on a road trip, you know just as well as I do how awesome a feature that is. But it does so much more than that. This sexy knob is actually the next iteration of the sexy buttons. The sexy buttons will still work with this, which is nice, so if you already have them, it will seamlessly connect with the commander that your knob is connected to. But this gives you a number of customizable menus where you can select which features are active, which features you want access to quickly, on the go right here and depending on what you use your car for there's a lot of really cool things you can add in here for example if you're doing ride share you can set an entire screen where it automatically opens doors one at a time so depending on which door your passenger is coming to you can automatically open that door then they're not fumbling around with the door handle trying to figure out how to open it that is actually a really cool and smart feature. Also, for those of you in less desirable climates, you can set an entire screen just for climate. Turn the heated steering wheel on, turn the heated seats on, all of that right here on this one screen. And for me, I also have a screen set up just for all the fun stuff. And this is another really cool thing that you can do with the sexy knob and that is drift mode. Now, when I put it into drift mode, what it does is it allows me to turn off most of the stability control systems on the car. So I can really put this thing into hard work. If I'm at the track or I wanna do some drifting, you can do that with the sexy knob, which is actually really cool. Obviously, be careful, know what you're doing if you're going to do that, but that is a lot of fun. So you have track mode, you have drift pro. There are a number of performance settings that you can turn on right here on the knob, which is really cool. Another thing for those of you who like to road trip that is actually really nice, I like this, is being able to turn on preconditioning right here from the screen here and being able to warm up the battery. So if you're in a colder climate, you can start that whenever you want. You don't have to manually navigate to a charger, even though that's not where you're headed, to get the car to precondition. You can do it right here, which is pretty nice. Also, for those of you who have been considering putting a screen in front of your steering wheel, this commander will allow you to access most all that information right here on your phone, actually. So you can actually mount your phone up here by the screen, if you like, and have all that information displayed for you right there without having to have a permanent setup, a pretty costly setup that actually blocks some of the airflow. So it's more of a, you can use it as it's convenient for you. Also outside of the knob itself, there are a number of really cool features that you can activate that don't require a button or anything else. Example, automatic brights on the headlights. When you go into autopilot, you can turn that off. That is totally worth it just in itself probably automatic wiper plates another thing you can completely turn off which is great and then on top of that you can also have the doors automatically open when you come to the car if that's something that you like there are so many customizable features on the commander on the sexy knob it's pretty crazy previous to installing this knob i actually had four sexy buttons and i use them for some of the things i use most often that i don't want to navigate through all the screens example i've got one that will open and close the front which is motorized 
due to some aftermarket accessories, but I use it a lot and having that button is really convenient. The glove box is another thing I use a lot and being able to just press a button instead of going through the navigation screen and getting to that, entering my code, all that stuff. Just press a button and it's open. I also have another button set for preconditioning. Like I said, that's a feature I actually use and I use it a lot. Having that button right there is pretty nice too. And then I have the anti-nag button, I guess. So it still is going to nag me to grab the steering wheel, but with a press of a button, I can basically trick the system that I'm moving the scroll wheel and it basically stops it from having to have my hand right there. I still have to pay attention and my and has to be doing something, but it's in a much more comfortable, convenient place than right here stuck on the steering wheel. Also, for those of you who use Scan My Tesla, I use Scan My Tesla because it gives me a lot of really good information, a lot of good data. You can connect this to that. I use that all the time. So going into Scan My Tesla, you don't have to have a third party plug-in device outside of the commander itself, now it communicates with that app. So if you're into more of the specific details of what the car is doing, it will connect to that. We also have the ability to do something that should be standard in the Tesla anyways, and that is when you mash the pedal, when you go full acceleration, it'll automatically kick into the highest performance setting that you have. So if you're in a Model Y, for example, and you have the acceleration boost, if you're in chill, you mash the accelerator, it'll accelerate under the sport setting, which is really nice because I don't want to be in sport setting all the time. Maybe, maybe I do, but if I'm not in sport setting all the time, when I hit that accelerator all the way, it knows I want max power and it's gonna give it to me right there and then go right back to its normal settings after that. There is literally no other accessory on the market that can give you anything close to what the Sexy Knob can get you for this kind of money. Nothing out there can unlock so many features, give you convenience access to so many things that can't normally be done in a Tesla. And I personally think that there's a couple of things that really make this a no brainer. Number one, automatically reactivating autopilot when you're on the highway is amazing. So for those of you who may not be interested in what full self-driving is doing in the city, you just want the convenience on the highway. When you switch lanes, you don't have to keep reactivating autopilot. That's a no brainer. Also the performance unlocks on this are a no brainer. Also, if you're into performance of your vehicle, I mean, it just unlocks things that you can't do today. And then there's all the convenience stuff, all the things we've already talked about, opening doors and opening the glove box, all that stuff is very nice to have. And quite honestly, the best part about the sexy knob is its location. Because when your arm is on the armrest, it's kind of right there where your hand is anyways. Makes it super easy, super convenient to get to. Set each menu to your preferred presets and you are ready to go. I cannot recommend the sexy knob enough. This is a awesome product that will unlock real features in your car and I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed when you get this. It's super easy to install and it's set up on the app is straightforward, easy to figure out. You're just gonna navigate through each of the menus, figure out what you want, what you don't want, and then you will set that up as whatever order you want on the screen. So make sure to get yours at Enhanced Auto's website using code BTG, you'll save some money and you can get this for yourself, unlocking real features in your Tesla too. Thanks so much for joining us today. I can't wait to catch you on the next one.